this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to enable transferring files to a NTFS hard drive. So more than likely you formatted your USB drive or external drive using the NTFS format partition. And if you did, as you can see here, if I try to drag a file, it won't let me. And that's because OS X doesn't support writing to NTFS partitions, you can only read. So that's why you need a third party application. And the one that I use is Tuxera NTFS for Mac. This allows to install third party drivers for you to be able to read and write to the NTFS partitions. So I'm going to download this program. And the download will give you a free trial. So if you're just trying to transfer files at one time or twice, then you could use a free trial to be able to transfer the files. So once the program is installed, go ahead and install it. I mean, once it downloads, go ahead and install it. All right, go ahead and close click on the package. And go ahead and click open. And continue with the installation. Put in your password. All right, so we're gonna do a trial version for 15 days. All right, so it looks like it installed everything. And the final step is to go ahead and restart your machine. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead and restart and then come back to the transferring of files. Once your computer restarts, you're gonna notice this T here for the Tuxera program showing up. And here it should list all of your NTFS drives. So I have a USB plugged in, 32 gigs. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna open the drive. And now, now that I have the NTFS program installed, if I drag the file, you should be able to get the plus sign here. That means that it's able to add the file. All right, so I found this to be real useful. Um, I tried using the free version of the NTFS, which is NTFS 3G and Mounty, but it appears that they're having issues with the 64-bit architecture. So I wasn't able to figure out how to get those running. But with the Tuxera, all you gotta do is install the program. And if you wanna support the program, you could purchase it for just $15 and you'll be able to have it and have support for NTFS partitions. Otherwise, what you could do is you could format your drives and use one of the other Apple supported formats, which is like APFS. All right, so that's all for now. Thank you for watching. If you have any questions, leave your comment below and please subscribe.